my channel or welcome to my channel if you're new here if you have not seen my debt confession video i will link that down below if you have not seen that go check that out this video is going to be my debt update and breaking down my care credit card purchases and what needs to be paid off and when so i hope that is something that you guys are interested in we left off last month with three thousand six hundred and forty one dollars and we did make a payment of 125 so now the new balance on the care credit card is three thousand five hundred and sixteen dollars so this is of december of 2021 the 850 dollars that we were working with last month is all gone it ended up being only $500, so not trying to light that on fire. It ended up only being $500, so we have some extra money that we can now put towards the care credit card, but before we actually go ahead and like do that, I just wanted to break down this amount for you guys. I wanted to break down the $3,516 that we still owe. This is my statement from care credit card so you can see all of my purchases are here and i'm gonna break this down basically in this video five purchases that we have put on the care credit card so far so one was 940 dollars this was for a root canal 729 dollars that was for cavities 337 that was for uh the consultation and the cleaning that i had um 905 was for cavities and there is a 1200 dollars charge that was for a root canal as well yes i've had a lot of root canals <laughs> um i've had five altogether so this was our like beginning balances for every single one so the total for all of these balances was four thousand uh, and $111. Basically, this balance went down to $720 because of what we've paid and like where that payment goes. Um, from now on, I will actually be calling them and saying, hey, I need you to put this towards the balance of $720 instead of just making the minimum payments because then that just goes to like the whole amount and it breaks it down. It kind of like chooses where the money goes, if that makes sense. I hope it does. So anyway, this $720 needs to be paid by April 1st of 2021. I mean, 2022. Hello. This $729 turned into $694, and this needs to be paid by August 1st. This $337 turned into $122, which also needs to be paid on August 1st. This 905 turned into, oh, it didn't turn into anything because that number has not been touched because this amount is actually not due until November 1st. And then this amount is the same. Um, and this is not due until 4-1 of 2023 which I think is pretty awesome, but you guys know that it is my goal to get this all paid off by the next December, so hopefully we can make that happen. We're basically going to be focusing now on this $720, and if you guys watched my last cash stuffing video, you will know that I have $390 in my debt envelope right now. Basically last week, I had made a payment of $125 towards the care credit card rate, so that would bring this balance down to $595. So technically we only owe $595 for that balance. It didn't reflect on it because you know you get the statements like a month behind. So yeah, we might be able to pay off the whole $595 in January because 595 minus the 390 that we have in our debt envelope is only $205. So I am really, really confident that we can get that done by the end of January. So I'm going to change this number here and put 595. That is our new goal for January to pay off $205 to the care credit card, no matter what. 
we got this and uh yeah so now that's the end of the video <laughs> okay thanks guys i'll see you in my next one bye